Like there's been a reason that you do three or four workouts and not just like a workout, but like a competitive workout in a day. And then you can come back and hit it again. There's the recovery time. The quality of the products is it's unmatched from what I can see. And from what I've experienced, like it's not going to make your stomach upset. It's not going to make you feel like crap. Like you can actually go through, Hey, I just destroyed myself on the floor for the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I've got an hour before the next one. What are we going to do? I'm going to take the thing that's going to be the best and roll forward. Like Mm -hmm. the products absolutely are going to help you out. Like whether it is just in the competing side or getting your workouts in, or if it's more like in the lifestyle side of like, Hey, I need protein. I need my greens. I need micronutrients, like that kind of stuff. Like they definitely help you out. What is going on? Hope you're having a fantastic start to the year 2024 here for the next two weeks. Every single day, you're going to get to hear a story from someone in the First Form Outdoors crew, everyone from the West Coast to the East Coast, North to South, everything in between, bass fishermen, professional bass fishermen, bird hunters, archers, rifle hunters, everything in between, guys, just outdoorsmen in general, outdoors men and women. I want you to understand why they have chosen First Form and First Form Outdoors as their company for supplementation, for nutrition, for workouts, and more just an outstanding community and why we want you to be a part of it. So not just from me, but from everyone in the crew, again, from all walks of life and everything outdoors that they really enjoy. You're going to find a story that you can relate with, if not more than one. And I hope you enjoy each one of these stories. Here we go. Let's kick off the new year right And if you want to join us at First Form Outdoors on the Facebook group, the link is down below. If you have any questions about supplementation from the protein sticks to the meat sticks, guys, those are my favorite snacks when we're out and about. Also, energy drinks, if that's your thing. We've got everything from post-workout shakes to in the app that's less than $20 a month, guys. You get a one-on-one advisor. You get someone to help walk you through your nutrition, someone that will hop on live and not just give you a cookie cutter routine, but something to check in with you on a regular basis so you can accomplish your goals here in 2024. Let's get this started off right with the First Form Outdoors crew. Here we go. Hope you enjoy this conversation today and for the next two weeks. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. And of course, get out, live your life, and love it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Red Beard Outdoors podcast. I've got an outstanding guest here. We've got Ethan, and Ethan is an all-around just awesome dude. Uh, He's gone through lots of stuff, and we're going to talk about first form specifically in this podcast. We'll get Ethan back on for another one uh, more in depth. But this week, as we're talking about why first form and why first form outdoors more specifically, I brought Ethan on because he is someone who's up in the PNW absolutely loves crossfit he's drinking that kool-aid you can tell because he'll tell you about it and uh <laughs> but he's you a just coach. gotta throw that in there yeah, don't you exactly oh yeah <laughs> he's a coach he absolutely <clears throat> loves what he does he's he's super fit he, he just loves getting outdoors shooting bows all the things that encompass uh just a great lifestyle in general so With that being said, again, you guys have heard from me why I really enjoy First Form and the community of First Form Outdoors, but I want to bring these people on to give you different perspectives from West Coast, literally West to East Coast, and we've got Ethan here from the West Coast, the better portion of the West Coast up in the Northwest. But uh, (laughs) Exactly. We're we're in God's country. Yeah, exactly. Tell tell the people who you are, just a brief introduction to who you are, and then... uh, Tell us your story with First Form, how you got introduced to First Form. So like you just said, uh, I'm Ethan Cool, and gone through First Form has been a company that I've been working with for, gosh, four, five years now. It's been a while. And when I first got introduced to him, it was kind of a wild, a wild way to get introduced because I ran into a guy I used to bartend back before the CrossFit and coaching and all this happened, but ran into a guy at a bar that I was working at and he was wearing a first form shirt. And I'd seen some stuff online about like that company. And I just asked him like, Hey man, do you use their stuff? What do you know about him? And he's like, Oh, do you want to talk to the owner? And 
I didn't know anything about this at that time, had no idea who Andy Frisella was, didn't really, had no idea what first form was. And Andy walked up, was like, hey man, I heard you wanted to talk about first form stuff. I was like, sure. And we just kind of had a little conversation, just really plain and simple, nothing crazy about it. He's like, give your address to this guy. Um, his name was Drew, by the way. So shout out to Drew. But <clears throat> give your address to Drew. He's going to be in contact with you and we'll send you some stuff. And I was like, cool. They'll send me a sticker, maybe a shaker bottle or a shirt or whatever. A um, couple weeks go by and I got loaded up. I showed up at my house after work one day and I have three big boxes sitting out my front door. I'm like, what is this? Like, I don't know what this is. Open it up. It is all first form stuff. They had post-workout proteins, reds, greens, uh, the pre-workouts, some shirts, a bunch, just a bunch of shit. And I had texted the guy that was my main contact. Drew was like, Hey dude, thank you. Like, what is this? Where did this come from? And he's like, yeah, dude, we just wanted to hook you up. And if you have any questions about like maybe getting involved with the company, let us know. And I honestly missed an opportunity that time. Cause I had a friend that was doing some other affiliate stuff, if you will. And I was like, oh, that's fake. Like, I don't, I don't want to get involved with that. Like, I don't know about posting on Instagram and doing all this. And I turned them down at first, but a couple of years go past and COVID happened. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if that door's still open. Like I started to get more into fitness and started to get more into everything and texted Drew. I was like, hey, is this still a thing? He's like, absolutely. And he got me hooked up with the Legionnaire program and got me hooked up with Jake, who probably didn't love talking to me at first. And if you ask him, he will tell you that. But uh, yeah, Jake started coaching me or really just trying to talk to me. And that's kind of how that whole thing got started. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know, that's an awesome experience. And for a lot of people that don't, don't know, uh, even if it was when first form started, that's really how it got started was the word of mouth, uh, not mm -hmm. being scared to share their product and, and give some to you as well, just for simply asking a question and having a conversation with them. And, uh, you know, you're, you're big into the gym scene. So for you, you're probably around a bunch of other companies, a bunch of other products, you've tried them, you've used them. And now you're like, Oh, man, this is another company that's trying to sell their stuff. They're trying to get me on board here. And I can see that and a lot of people will say that they'll say, you know, there's this and that about first form, and they're just trying to sell you stuff and post all the time, etc. And it's more than that. But I can see why it gets wrapped into the same, uh, I guess, marketing as every other company right. out there in all yep. reality it's it's you're already out there looking for it you know if you're looking for it we want to make sure that you understand why we are passionate about this certain product not that you have to buy it on top of that there's so much education behind it and um, oh, dude. you know you're you're pretty educated when it comes to <laughs> fitness and health and nutrition you're a coach right you're certified you've got all these things going for you mm -hmm. how do you feel on the back end of all the education that we have to go through. Cause it's not just, here's your code, go post it. Here's your link, yeah. go post it. Here's our sales, go post them. They even chew us out for that. They're like, Hey, if you just post <laughs> a, a stupid picture yep. that if you just copy paste that picture, we get in trouble for that on the back end. I don't think people understand that either. Mm -hmm. You can get in trouble for not sharing the education portion. So from your yeah. well-educated perspective, on this, the fitness and nutrition aspect, how do you feel the, the, the education portion of first form now being with it for a couple of years is compared mm -hmm. to, you know, other stuff that you've done in the past? Well, I think a lot of people, when they see like a supplement company, they're like, Oh, or like not even a supplement company, but just like a, an influencer, if you will, they're like, Oh, mm -hmm. like I use your code, I get 10% off, you get whatever a commission or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But I think a lot of people are just like, Oh, like they're just doing it for the clicks. They're just doing it for the money, whatever you want to look at. But with first form, what a lot of people don't realize is like, we have to go through a training process before we are allowed, if you will, to share that product or even talk mm -hmm. on it. And like you just said too, like we're, we are not supposed to go out and just be like, Hey, here's my link and not have a conversation. Like the thing I realized with first form, even just with my interaction with them was like, Hey, they actually care. They want you to know what's in the product. They want you to know how to use the product and how to use it correctly. 
and they want to support you through that too. Like it's not just, it's not just, Oh, here's a protein powder. Here's a pre-workout. It's very much so like, this is what's in it. This is why you want to use it. And this is how you're going to use it to the best of your ability. And I don't know a lot of companies that do that, especially at the level that they do. I couldn't think of one. So there's plenty of supplements out there. There's plenty of companies that you could be affiliated with, but as far as ones that will care like that, I don't know a better one. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's been eye opening because sometimes you get the, the curtain lifted and you see behind the scenes and how, mm-hmm. uh, you know, some companies may be paying the prettiest woman or the, the most jacked dude or the number right. one CrossFit athlete, you know, they, they jump on that bandwagon because of the marketing aspect of it. But in, in reality, like things are earned at first form that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, and I'm sure there's other companies that run this way too, but with first form, there's no, uh, there's no smoke screen per se. Right. Uh, they, they expect people to earn every bit that they have and they get frustrated when people even start to act like they're entitled, uh, with yep. whatever title they may have with the company. And so that education piece was huge. And even now that, you know, I've gotten to a certain level with the education, they still want me going back and they're like, Hey, how come you haven't logged in? and done Mm -hmm. your videos or done your quizzes or refreshed on the post-workout stack or the greens or the things that you're talking about. And I'm like, dang. So they actually go back and check too. You know, they, they, they go back and they want to make sure that you are educating the people that you're speaking with. You're not trying to promise things like curing cancer and stuff. That's not going to happen. (laughs) You know? So, so you had this experience. Oh, go ahead. I'm just going to say they really care. Like they really want you to give the best, not just the best product, but the best service with that product that you can give. Like, it's not just about like, Hey, sell the product. It's about help that individual. Like it isn't, Mm -hmm. it isn't just selling. It is helping people and it's helping people at a level that I think most people aren't used to. Like, yeah, yeah, it's above and beyond anything that I ever expected from a customer standpoint and from an employee standpoint. Yeah. hundred percent. And so you had this introduction, you, you met Andy Frisella, the, the, founder of first form now the, the ceo of first form and so you had that experience you got your stuff and then you still did you still weren't 100 percent sold on it then you finally you know worked mm-hmm. into where you got with jake and even then you were still kind of like <laughs> yeah like iffy about it and then there was mm-hmm. something that changed so kind of walk us through there was something that changed and then why first form outdoors we'll get to that to to wrap it up there um, let's see when I first started with Jake and he'll tell you this and you've probably heard this from him already that I was the most miserable human being he's ever talked to. Um, oh, he said it in front of you to us. Oh so. yeah. He told it. He's told it in front of, I don't know. Like I've seen him sit in front of executives. Well, and shit at first yeah. yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I was just in kind of a rough place in life. Like I was doing what, what everybody had told me to always do. But not really like, I never really thought of like what I would like to do. And I kind of flipped the switch. We've been talking about Andy Frisella, but I'd, I'd seen 75 hard for a long time. And I was like, I should do that. Like there's a little voice in the back of my head that was just like, you should, you should go do that. You should go try that. But I was bartending at the time and my pastime, my free time was going out and having drinks, going to breweries with friends. Like that was that was what I did. I didn't know anything different. And, uh, just got into, got into 75 hard and started it and started to see the changes that happened within that program and that process. And you know, like the, over the course of those 75 days, I just saw kind of the, the life I was living versus the life that I knew I could be living. And that really just flipped the switch as far as like, Hey dude, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Why are you doing the things that you do right now? Are you even enjoying it? Is it helping you out? And once I completed that, um, that first round of 75 hard, that's really when I started to change a lot. I switched into, um, I got involved with CrossFit just as far as like starting to coach at a local gym and just started to make little changes. But that's really when I started to also get more involved with first form and with their affiliate program through being a legionnaire. And Jake had been with me for, I don't know, probably six months through that time. And he would just occasionally like give me a phone call and be like, Hey dude, what's up? 
like our people probably don't realize this, but like we have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with our coach at first form. Right. And our coaching calls were more like, he would just talk to me because I didn't want to hear him talk about like, Oh, you need to post to Instagram or, Oh, you need to like, have you gotten in the training center or stuff like that? And I was just in a place where that, that wasn't happening. And Jake met me where I was at and just showed me like, Hey, I actually care about you. I want you to be a better human than you are right now. And that really like that combined with going through 75 hard really just showed me like this company cares. And it's not just like, it's not just about the product or even just about helping those people, but they want to help their people. Like I was by no means a great leader, a great legionnaire, a great coach, but I had someone that believed in me to go forward and do that. And yeah, yeah that first round of 75 hard, Jake's sticking with me and then starting to get into the CrossFit side of things is when things really started to ramp up. Like I saw the value in the nutrition after going through 75 hard. I saw the value in the daily disciplines and stuff like that. I'd say that was really a big turning point. Yeah, no, I definitely can. I can definitely understand that. Uh, and, and it is true. The community aspect behind first form is it's different. It's not just a shooting star syndrome type of community where uh, you get, you know, I guess blasted with love and affection and, and camaraderie mm -hmm. for a short amount of time. And then, and then you're done. Uh, it's continuous. Yes. There's ebbs and flows, but it's more ebbs and flows, like smaller, I guess, ups and downs than it is right. like huge. Hey, welcome. We love you. Awesome. And then nothing. It's, exactly. it's just a constant stream of, Hey, how are things going? And if it's not one person checking on you, it's someone else. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's something that just, I can't harp enough on the community aspect of it because there's, yes, there's egos involved. Yes, there are, um, there is competition that's, that's going to be everywhere, but it's more like a brother, sister, brother, brother competition rather than enemies in a way. Yeah. Like, you know, they'll, they'll tell you, we'll, we'll beat your tail on the court, but we're going to lift you up afterwards and show you how to get better. And 100%. then you getting better gets me wanting to be better in a way. Yep. And so that that's the competition that you'll see there. Uh, that's the, the ego that you'll see there is that they're constantly wanting to get better. Um, it's even more so at headquarters itself, but you know, it, it's, uh, there's a reason why there's been this constant growth and why now things are getting even, they're growing even more. I can't believe oh, it's been almost three years since first form outdoors started. Uh, that has it really been three years already. Yeah, almost. <laughs> that one's fast. I know. Right? <laughs> right. Tell me about it. Uh yeah, it's been almost three years. So I don't know the exact date when it was born in Jake's mind, but mm -hmm. I know when I started with him, it's been almost yeah. it's been a little or almost three years. So uh you know, with that being said, with so many communities out there, outdoor communities, there's plenty of other mm -hmm. brands, especially out west here. We've got I'd say the majority of uh the majority of supplement companies that are branded towards the outdoors are branded towards the Western hunter, not necessarily yeah. the Eastern hunter or the Eastern hunter that's coming out West. There's not a lot of people that focus on the East side, which we won't in this conversation necessarily, <laughs> but first form, uh, outdoors, why are you sticking with that over some of the other companies that might be out there, uh, for people that want to know why first form outdoors, for you, mm -hmm. what would be your top three reasons? You've already said community. So yeah. what are the other two that you would say? Um, I mean, we haven't really talked about the mission, but just the mission behind it, I think is a huge piece too, as far as like helping, helping outdoors men and women to just be the healthiest and best version of themselves. Like you can't argue with that. Like I've, I grew up in a small community in Colorado. Obviously I'm up here in the Northwest now. And like you see, different people when you get out in the woods, when you get out hunting, camping, fishing, whatever it's doing. And like, there are people that are like, Hey, those are good people. Like they're living a good life. They're being healthy. They're making good decisions. And then you see them see some people that are like, Hey, they go to deer camp and you know what? Like they've got four cases of beer and a couple of half gallons of their favorite whiskey and whatever. And it's like, I'm not saying one of those things is not the right thing to do, but like there are values that, we should stick with and things that we should stick to for trying to live a healthy lifestyle and set a good example. 
And I think that's really the other part of that is like that mission of keeping people on the healthy side of things, but then setting the example for future generations too. Like how many people have grown up and deer camp is just kind of like a drinking and hopefully we can go kill a deer fest versus like, Hey, we're out here pushing hard because we trained hard and we can show our sons and our daughters and our grandkids how to go through and do that and pass that down. Like those things are just, they're undeniable in my mind. You can't, you can't argue it. Exactly. But, yeah. I would hundred percent agree with that. Just the idea of wanting to pass that down for generation, you know, people talk about that and especially as people get older, they start to realize the value of that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not, it's never really too late to make a change, but if you want to make a lasting change, it's just like everyone wants to talk about finances and I'm the last person that is knowledgeable about this. But what I do know <laughs> is that I take a chunk out of every single paycheck and I just put it away before it even gets to my bank account in a, in a 401k mm -hmm. and my retirement fund. And I don't even look at it except maybe a, a handful of times a year. And, and for me, the fact that, you know, I look at the, whatever the compounding interest prediction is going to be when I, when I hit retirement age, I'm like, huh, that's pretty awesome. How much mm -hmm. I will put in total versus how much is going to be there is awesome because I started at a younger age. If you start older, you have to put more in to get that same amount out at the end. It's the same with your health. 100%. 100%. It's the same with your health. You put little things in from a young age, like teaching good eating habits, teaching good activity habits from a young age, it becomes easier as they get older to want to go spend time in the gym. Yep. And then after that, it becomes easier as an older person to be eating healthy. And then at that time, you're looking to maintain health rather than trying to get your health back at an age mm -hmm. that's going to be harder to do. And so I, I agree with you there. That's a huge mission. What would be the last thing, I guess, to wrap up here? What would be the, the third thing top of your top three that you would say, why first form outdoors? Oh, it's really hard to just narrow stuff down. You know that? Um, we got the community. We got the mission. Honestly, I'll pitch just you one like. You brought it up to me before. What's that? I'll, I'll pitch you a softball here. You are a higher performing athlete than I am as far as like high <laughs> exercise, high, high intensity. <laughs> crossfit you're drinking the kool-aid telling everyone about it making sure the people at the grocery store come to your gym and uh, <laughs> we're not quite that far like that might be an exaggeration it might be <laughs> you're rocking the crocs now we got you in crocs uh no but but in reality you're you're a high performance athlete and crossfit really is no matter what crap people talk on it it really is a high exertion type of athletic movement constantly and you're wanting to recover as quick as possible so compared to other and we don't have to name brands obviously but other supplements that you've used in the past mm -hmm. what have you noticed in your recovery using first form products versus other products i mean i've lived off of first form products at competitions and stuff like there's been a reason that you do three or four workouts and not just like a workout, but like a competitive workout in a day. And then you can come back and hit it again. There's the recovery time. The quality of the products is it's unmatched from what I can see. And from what I've experienced, like it's not going to make your stomach upset. It's not going to make you feel like crap. Like you can actually go through, Hey, I just destroyed myself on the floor for the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I've got, an hour before the next one what are we going to do i'm going to take the thing that's going to be the best and roll forward like mm -hmm. the products absolutely are going to help you out like whether it is just in the competing side or getting your workouts in or if it's more like in the lifestyle side of like hey i need protein i need my greens i need micronutrients like that kind of stuff like they definitely help you out and i mean i'm not i'm not biased but there's a reason they're the only ones i've been using for the last what four five years. So yeah, yeah. exactly. No, we could. And, and this is coming from, and I, I just want to point out like you, you were pretty much a skeptic at first. You were like, Oh, they're just trying to hundred oh, percent. And so the fact that again, you're a high performance athlete with CrossFit, you know, I'll, I'll never deny that I'll pick on it 
all the time, but it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely a, and you can't deny the people that genuinely believe and do CrossFit on a regular basis are high performance athletes. <clears throat> and so for you to notice a difference in your recovery, it's not a magic pill. No one, mm -hmm. I don't want anyone out there thinking that, but no. it is better quality. It's like putting the, the nice gasoline. I don't know what <laughs> Ferraris do because I don't drive a Ferrari, but it's putting the right gasoline in a Ferrari versus mm -hmm. the regular gas that I put in my Tacoma. It's, yeah. you know, it, it, instead of you're going to make sure you're fueling your body in the proper way and having the highest quality ingredients, your stomach's not going to be messed up. You're going to be able to help your digestive tract with the greens. You're going to get your micronutrients and you're actually going to absorb them, not just have a pill that sits on your stomach that hurts because it's a hard pressed pill. Um, you're going to get the right, you know, correlation of omegas with the full omega. So all mm -hmm. of these things, like it's just a higher quality deal. So yep. I just wanted to hear that from, from your perspective as, you know, as an athlete that genuinely competes mm -hmm. in weightlifting competitions where you're crushing your body on the, on the floor. Um, yeah. so that, that's awesome. I guess to, to completely wrap it up here, I want to ask about elk so that you can give a shout out mm -hmm. to your, your group. Um, what is yeah. elk and, uh, where can people find you at? So elk is my personal brand and I got lucky because my parents gave me initials that spelled out elk. So oh, that's I awesome. got super lucky with that, but it is eat, lift, kill are basically the four or the four. I can't talk today. Three foundations of elk. He just did um, a workout, guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, not yet. That's later. Um, I have not enough caffeine is what it is. But eat, lift, kill. Um, so we're looking at nutrition. We're looking at fitness. And then the kill part, a lot of people get confused. They're like, oh, like you're just broadcasting to hunters and that kind of thing. And it's like, no, like this is about going after your goals, killing it at life. Like you're crushing the things that, that you want to go do. So it's that whole encompassing thing. Like, it's not just like, I know it looks like a hunting brand. Obviously it's going to go that way for sure. But like, it is yeah. not just that it's definitely more that lifestyle. Of like we focus on our food, we focus on our fitness and then we end up killing it at life. So it's a brand that I've gone through and started to just grow. There's, I have a private Facebook community right now. That is just the team elk Facebook group. Um, but we go through nutrition coaching. I do a lot of mindset posts in there too. And then just kind of sharing that community, like my own little private community within that too. Um, but yeah, if you guys need nutrition coaching, that is a great place to go and find me at. Do a little subtle drop. But yeah, my uh, otherwise my Instagram is at cool, K-U-H-L, Ethan. And yeah, I'm on there posting. You guys can find me. But getting a website going soon, it's not quite done. But I will have a website up for some more apparel coming soon too. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, guys. So Ethan is just, he's someone that is crushing it again, went from skeptic to he's a, he's a believer. Now we'll say that he's definitely <laughs> Drink uh, all the Kool-Aid. Uh, yeah, exactly. He's drinking all the Kool-Aid. Uh, he's, uh, he's definitely into the outdoors fitness. You know, again, he's an athlete guys. So check it out. Uh, check out Ethan's stuff. I'll leave it down below here uh, so that you can check it out in the description. Also uh, guys, I want you to understand that we're doing this week of first form outdoors. Why first form outdoors? Because I want you to understand why I'm so passionate about this company, why I'm so passionate about the brand and more so the community and the quality products, especially as we're going into the new year here in 2024. I want you to get the best education possible so that you can set yourself up for success, not just for these next three months, like most people where they fall off after February which I won't lie is nice because the gym kind of opens up. But in reality, I want to see people succeed. So that's why we're sharing about First Form Outdoors, getting into your outdoor passions, planning your outdoors adventures, and getting as healthy as possible now so you can be ready for those later in the year. So with that being said, Ethan, thank you for your time. I appreciate you. And uh, guys, go check out his stuff. I'll leave the links down below. Have a fantastic day. And of course, get out, live your life, and love it. Oh, yeah.